Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of Luis Suarez's Road to Redemption here on Xbox One. In the last episode, we were able to pick ourselves up that Division 10 title. So as per the rules, we'll be opening five packs to uh, to try and boost our uh, our squad. But considering there were 25k packs in the store at the time, what I actually decided to do was go for two 7.5k packs and then go for that 25k pack as well to perhaps try and boost our luck and uh, grab, grab some uh, some good players. In the first 7.5k pack we actually picked up um, Bakary Sanya, which is a fantastic uh, signing, something that we definitely needed. A right back from the Premier League will definitely boost chemistry. But uh, if you want to pick up some packs of your own, then check the link in the description. It will take you to footcoinking.com. If uh, you head over there and use the code CHES at checkout, C-H-E-S, you can get yourselves a 5% discount off your coins. And of course, it's an automated instant service over there. So you'll get your coins within seconds. But let's jump into this 25k pack. 12 players, at least 10 of which are gold with 3 rares. We were hoping, perhaps even, for an, another international man of the match. Of course, we made a decision in the past episode, or the, yesterday's episode, as to uh, the next player to come into the squad from the target team. So you can see our three rare players are Esteban Cambiasso, although Rod Fanny is actually a decent right back and will be used. Uh, Blazikowski, Kuba Blazikowski from Borussia Dortmund, and as you can see at the far right, Jermaine Defoe was the final rare player. So unfortunately, nobody overly spectacular, but some good players to add to the squad that will help with rotation and the strength of the overall side. And as you can see, at the time of uh, recording, when I recorded this last night, Gary Cahill had 21 votes. And Danny Alves had 20 votes. It was so ridiculously tight. But Gary Cahill just about edged it. So he brought him in for 158,000 coins. And he will slot into the first team. Although, to start off with, we're going to play a completely rotation side. Just to freshen up the uh, the fitness of uh, the entirety of our now full 11 at Barclays Premier League side. So uh, we're playing with only 52 chem in this one. A couple of the new players getting a game. Blazikowski on the right. Um, Stock on the left. And of course, Jermaine Defoe up top. We come up against another team, a lot more chemistry than us, better players than us, but a, a bronze goalkeeper and a bronze left back. So I was hoping if I could pepper the goal with shots, then we might actually be able to uh, to pick ourselves up a goal or two. But uh, he was actually going to find himself going in front after uh, just about the half hour mark. Adil Rami rises as well from the corner to power the header into the back of the net. And uh, he took a 1-0 lead. But just a few minutes later, he brought my man down in the box. As you can see, Mattia De Silio is absolutely furious. But he did get nutmegged here by Miroslav Stock. And through the ball went, but not the man. He stopped him in his tracks and... It really was quite clearly a foul. So Luis Suarez was going to step up to take the penalty. Of course, if he scores, we get ourselves a 7.5k pack to open after this game. And he does actually have quite good penalty stats. So you can see the green margin in the bar in the bottom left is quite high. And I did go left and the goalkeeper went the right way. But fortunately, we were able to get it into the back of the net. So we pegged him back at 1-1. And then unfortunately, we got caught in possession here. And then Biabiani plays a good through ball. There's no way Alex is going to catch Palacio racing away from him. And he's going to give himself a 2-1 lead there with a good finish, good breakaway textbook counter-attacking goal. We're going to try and get ourselves back in it again. Anderson squares the ball to stock, won the penalty and then finds the back of the net himself so we bring ourselves back to 2-2 again just a few minutes after he'd actually taken the lead. So I was hoping to then kind of reverse that and take the lead ourselves as we headed just after the hour mark but it's a nice lofted through ball. Balotelli holds off the attentions of Fanny and Alex to just about squeeze the ball underneath Tim Howard and into the back of the net. So he took a 3-2 lead and unfortunately Unfortunately, we weren't going to be able to find ourselves a, another goal. So uh, clearly, the lower chemistry and uh, you know not having that sort of cohesion between the players clearly does affect the way that your team plays. Because we had some good players in that side, but they just didn't play very well at all. So we're opening a seven and a half k pack for uh, for Luis Suarez's goal, and hopefully in it we can get a, a decent player. And indeed, we get not one rare. Victor Alcatani and uh, Adam Johnson. Johnson might play. Um, some rotation football with uh, perhaps James Milner dropping out and I'll put Johnson on the left considering he is left footed but uh, we're starting with a full BPL lineup now full chem not the strongest of sides by any means with uh, Stephen Taylor in there not Chirino etc and Gilfried Sigerson being the, the 76 rated cam at CM and then of course James Milner playing out of position but we do have our international man of the match and our new team of the season in the side unfortunately though we came up against a extremely strong side 
Two team of the season centre backs is Socrates and Toprak, and of course Manuel Neuer in goal. Lewandowski and Abamyang up top with Royce and Blazikowski out wide. And this guy was the sort of guy that builds this team and then just constantly plays the LBA or LBY passes, which was extremely frustrating. And I was particularly frustrated and uh, rather aggravated by the way that this guy played football. Fortunately, we were able to take the lead through a Gilfie Sigurdsson, one of the uh, the lesser players in the squad. But uh, then, not Torino, his first touch just went sideways, despite me holding the uh, the stick uh, straight up the pitch. And uh, unfortunately, he got the ball taken away from him. And Gundogan uh, celebrates in style after nicking the ball off him, putting it into the back. And look at this first touch. He just goes left. I don't know why. And uh, it really did <laughs> piss me off because this guy was... Just completely one of the uh, the most sweaty players I'd ever played against, but we managed to uh, to break through here with uh, James Milner. Unfortunately, the lob through ball isn't the best, but his clearance in turn isn't the best. And uh, Luis Suarez, perhaps a little bit unfortunate with the finish, can't quite get it past Manuel Neuer, but it does drop very kindly for James Milner, who smashes the ball into the back of the net. And uh, that, unfortunately, that didn't quite count as a Luis Suarez uh, assist, although Suarez did get the assist for Sigurdsson's goal earlier on. So we will be able to uh, to open a pack for uh, for that after this game. But we gave away possession with uh, the goal kick there, the goalkeeper kicking it out. And then a lob through ball. And for some reason, Jose Enrique just doesn't choose to clear it. He had the uh, the space and the time there to hook it clear and he just completely missed the ball. And uh, Blazikowski slotted it underneath the goalkeeper. So as if I wasn't annoyed enough that uh, this guy was extremely sweaty, he got the luck of the draw as well and the aids went in his favour. And we were unfortunately only able to come out with a 2-2 draw. But we did get that assist with Suarez so we are going to open another 7.5k pack. Hopefully we can pull something decent in this one as well because we do need to strengthen that BPL side and uh, the rotation side could do with some, uh, some extra chemistry and some rotation plays in there as well. And in fact, Pablo Zabaleta will replace Bakary Sanya as the right back in uh, in that particular BPL side. I do prefer Zaba to the uh, the former Arsenal right back who probably, I think, is actually on his way to Man City and Zabaleta and he will be teammates next season. Uh, I th think that's the... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure whether that's actually happened yet or not, but I believe that is the plan. Uh, it may have already gone through Bakary Sanya to, uh, to Manchester City. But regardless of... Uh, in real life deals that's going to bring this episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind hopefully we'll have some better results in tomorrow's episode of course i am pretty average at the game so it's kind of par for the course that we win one lose one at the minute but unfortunately not able to get either uh, or a win from either game in this one just a draw but uh, fingers crossed we can have better results in tomorrow's episode but that's going to bring today to a close there was my player episode uploaded earlier on this afternoon so check the channel page for that if you missed it there was an episode of this last night there'll be an annotation as or there will be a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your screen to uh, to take you to that of course feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on any of the content here on Chesnoy Gaming we'll be back to the Dortmund career mode again tomorrow so uh, be sure to check your sub boxes around about 1pm tomorrow afternoon for that but for now that's all from me so thank you very much for watching guys drop the video a like if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time